our prayer. We do not want to miss anything from God. Let me tell you, the devil will try to give you a purpose. The devil will try to give you a meaning. The devil will try to give you a destiny so that you can miss your great opportunity. So that you can miss your greater destiny. So you can miss your greater, hallelujah. So many people are dying because they don't know who they are. Because they live their life adoring other people. Because they live their life depending on other people. Because they live their life on getting an approval and a, 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 um, validation. All these young women that grow up. They go to the club because their friends say so. Sometimes maybe that person was not feeling okay. But he ended up finding herself in the club. When she got to the club, they shoot her and she died. Hallelujah. So imagine, your heart told you not to go to the club. Your heart told you today you should not get out, Zaina. But because your friend called you and she said, let's go out. And now you now say, no, I'm not go I'll go out because if I don't go out, they will never invite me again. If I don't go out to that club, they will never invite me again. If I don't go out to that club, they will never be my friends again. I will be alone, so I just have to go. Okay, now you got up, you went there. You find yourself having a lot of problems. You end up having an accident or somebody got shot, or you got shot and your life is over. That's why you should not fear men, people of God. Don't do things because you are forced to do, because you are afraid of you losing something. Don't do, do, do things because you said, oh my God, I need help. I just need to be with them because, no. It's not, you are not a big lady, you are not a big lady of a, of a greater to stay with somebody. You are not forced, nobody's putting a gun in your head. To do something. Say, I refuse to be a slave to the human being. I refuse to be. Speak it out. Speak it out. Say, I refuse to be a slave to the world. I refuse to be a slave to the human being. God, you're going to be my center to my problem. You're going to be the center to my relationship. You're going to be the center to my business. You'll be the center to my family. You'll be the center to my body. You'll be the center to my mind. You'll be the center to my eyes. You'll be the foundation to every part of our body. You'll be the foundation. Speak it out. Speak it out because this mouth, you have life and death right here. So speak life. Choose life. Destroy death. Look at me. I'm very, very weak on my voice. It's killing me, right? I can, I'm, I'm barely. But guess what? I say, God, you are the one that give me this body. You are the one that give me this mouth. You are the one that give me this voice. You are the one that give me this, this knowledge. Now, I don't know anything else to do but to give me back to you, O oh Lord. I am going to stand and wake up on the morning. I am going to get ready and I'm going to go on life. Because I will not let the devil to take what is mine. I will not let the devil to take what I've labored. I will not let the devil to take what I've been working hard for. Refuse, God. I pray for your children. Whatever they have worked for, oh God. It will not be taken away from them in Jesus' name. It will not be taken away from them in the name of Jesus. Whatever they have worked for, oh Lord. It will not be taken away from them in Jesus' name. Father Lord, whatever is trying to torment them, whatever is trying to make them become a slave so that they can lose it, it will not happen in the name of Jesus. You are not a slave to any situation in the name of Jesus. You are not a slave to a human being, no way. You are not going to live in fear in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not going to live in fear in the mighty name of Jesus. You will live and conquer in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be successful. In everything you touch, in everything you do, in anywhere you go, you will be a leader, not a follower. You will not be a follower in the name of Jesus. Refuse that spirit of slavery in your life. 
Refuse it in the name of Jesus. Refuse the spirit of slavery in your life. Do not be a slave to a human being. Do not be a slave to a human being. Fearing a man is a human is being a slave in a human to a human being. Fearing a man is being a slave to be a, in a human being. Fearing a human being is being a slave. It's being a slave. Refuse it. You may think you are being nice. No way, you are being a slave. Do not do it. Do not do it. What is there going on? I want to read this note that I posted here. It says, who cares if we get persecuted? Who cares if people gossip about you? Who cares if you get persecuted? Who cares if you get persecuted? Who cares? He says, look at the process. Uh, pros uh, if you look at this, look. Oh my God, I can't even speak. The devil is trying to hold me back. I refuse it in Jesus' name. He says, who cares if you get persecuted? Who cares if people insult you? Who cares if people talk about you? Who cares? Look at it as a blessing, people of God. Oh, me, I'm the one that people always talk about me, that I'm not cute enough, that I'll never do anything, that I'll never be anything. Okay, who cares? Look at it as a blessing. Let's pray to God right now. Whoever, oh my God, whoever has been insulting you, whoever has been talking about you, people that have been destroying you, do not change who you are. Do not change who you are. Do not waste your life. Do not waste your life on pleasing human beings. Do not waste your life on pleasing human beings. Do not live your life of fear, fearing every little things around you, fearing people. Let's pray for God to give you boldness, hallelujah, to give you boldness. When you are a queen, a queen sits like this. A queen sits with, they sit very well, scratch her, because they know that I'm a queen and I'm not going to let nobody to put me down. I'm not gonna let no human being to destroy me. I'm not gonna let any enemy to step on me. I am going to step on that enemy. And that's all you have to create. Claim your power. Claim yourself. You say, my father, my God, I pray for the boldness. So if you are sitting like this, and if you are really feeling boring, you get up, take it. If you are a female, take it. Receive boldness in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive boldness in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak out. Rise and shine. Live your life the way you're supposed to. Do not let any evil voices in your head destroy you. Now, if you are a man and you are going through hell, and you feel like nothing can happen to you, huh? Get your life. Get your life back. Get your life together. Say, God, give me boldness. I am a man, I can do this. God, give me boldness right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. He says, He says that. We, 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 we all need to love and get to know Christ more. Jesus died, died a bloody painful death for you and me. Don't deny him by, uh, by your action. All you have to do, uh, all you have is Christ that died to you. So all you have to do is to say, God, I do not deny you. I will never deny you. I will live. I will live the bold life. I am a child of a king of kings. Hallelujah. I am a child of a king of kings. And when I walk in a place, I will walk like a queen. And when I claim something, I claim it like a queen. Let me tell you one thing. A queen can never say, oh, please give me love. Please give me love. Please, I love you. No. Hallelujah. You should not be asking for like that. Claim it. Take it. And keep it. It's yours. The Bible says that. Right here in Romans 8. 
in Romans 8, uh, Romans 8, 31 says, What can we say about all these things in the planet, all these things in the world? If God is with us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. So that's when I walk in the room like I'm a queen. I walk in a room like I got this. I walk in a room like I'm a youth. I'm young. I am wonderfully made. I am smart. I can do anything that through Christ. I am possible. I am not impossible. I am smart enough. I am not thick enough. I am no, no. You have to say yes. Who say you are not thin enough? Or who say you are not thick enough? Who said? Who said you are not this and that and you take it and you put it, put it in your mind? I would love. When I want to punish somebody, huh? I'll just tell them, look, you lose me. Because me, I am worth it. You have to invest in me. Because if you don't invest in me, that is your problem. I'm not saying investing in me is money. Because people of the world nowadays, they have bad mind thinking. When they see a beautiful girl, all they think is money, 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 money. No. Invest in your relationship, your mother relationship with you. Invest in your mother. Tell her you look beautiful. Tell her, Mama, you are a great woman. You've been there for me. Invest on your woman. Show your woman that she, she's worth it. But that is not meaning that you fear men. That means that you respect a human being. But at the same time, it does not mean that you should have adore you should go abudu in swahili is like you should uh, you should praise them you should pray them no but uh, uh, respecting a human being is different between worshiping a human being nowadays people will worship people huh? people worship cars people worship corona corona has so much power in the united states right now i don't know about the other world because i'm in the usa right now than all over the other places. Ah, where are you? Who is your what is your who is your God? Are you really a son of the King of Kings? Are you a child of the King of Kings? Walk like you mean it. Check like you mean it. Speak your life. Stop being scared of people. People are not the one that owes your life. Then I know some of the I know one of the lady who got shot twelve times. With shooting gun 12 times, they never died. I was in the midst of Congolese. Uh, whoa, since I was five, I lost, I, and we, I lost my family. We, we found each other again. I never died, and you are here fearing men men who can never do anything for you, men who can never do anything for you. That's only God. Imagine that lady got shot 12 times, but she did not die. Never, she did not die. Why? Because God was with her. So why do you fear men, human beings that will die, but the God that will keep you alive? You are not even afraid of them. You are not even afraid of God. You are not even af You go out there, you cheat, you lie, you lie. Over your, your, because you want to please your flesh. Because you want to please your woman. You go steal for a woman. Because you want to pay for the rent. You go sleep with different men. Because you are doing the bad, you are doing men, you are doing everything that's flesh. You're forgetting where you came from. Who is your father? Who is praying for you? Who is intercessing for you? Because my King of King, my Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that Jesus said I will leave your helper, is always intercessing for you and me. Is intercessing for you and me. The Holy Spirit was sent here to work, to defend you and me to keep us alive, to teach us how to live well in a holy way. So why are we destroying ourselves? Hallelujah. So Father, may you please help your children. May you please help your children. Father, help us not to miss what you are telling us, oh God. Father, Lord, help us to only follow you. Earlier I said, don't worry about what people are saying about you. Yes, I like long lashes, so what? Yes, I like lipstick, so what? Yes, I like to change my hair, so what? If you can do it too. Yes, I like to dress up, so what? Who told you?
told you God is God of dirty. God is God of beauty. I am a queen. I am a queen because my father is the king of kings. So I don't know about you. So if you want to live like that, let's join me. Let's walk like queens and kings. Let's not waste our time in the little, little things. Let's not waste our time in people that will die tomorrow. Let's not waste our time on fearing a human being that will leave you tomorrow, that will disappoint you tomorrow. Let's, dis let's, let's put our trust in the Lord. Let's live. The let's live in the word of God. You see somebody would want a validation from a human being. When they say they are ugly, that person will not be sleeping. You'll be crying, oh, he said I was ugly. Okay, so go there, continue crying. As for me, I know I'm beautiful because my God told me so. There's no in the Bible where it says that, oh, Zaina, you are ugly. <laughs> There's no in the Bible where it says, Oh, Zaina, you need to, to lose weight. Oh, you need to gain weight. Oh, you are not worthy enough. Oh, you are not beautiful enough. No. But I didn't say you shouldn't take care of yourself. Please don't use my word though. I did not say you should not take care of yourself. What I'm saying is, know your agenda. Know your agenda. Stop fearing men like gods. Stop living your life on what people are saying. Stop copying, copying, copy, copy. You are being a copy, copy. When your friend put that lipstick, you go and steal and sleep around or even steal to make sure that your husband or your boyfriend are not going to steal because they want to see you doing Brazilian hair. Okay, do you have it? Work with your capacity. Stop, stop getting validation from people, getting approval from people. This is the meaning. I say we're going to cut off the fearing of men today. We are cutting off the fearing of men. That those fear of men, we are cutting it off. So this is why I have to preach. I have to say things that I'm that other people won't say. Um, there's this lady, this, there's this man. I will never forget him. Uh, uh, victory, Victor, Victor. I mean Victor. Victor told me that I'm a one of a woman that I speak out, and that's when I started. The first month I started is actually the first week I started. He commented on my Facebook, Vita pray, God bless you. He says that I need you to start speaking the truth of the truth of people that need to learn. Because women are doing so many things that is not right. And even because you are in the church, act like a church person. Do not come here and try to create rules. This is what God said. God said this. God said that. God said that. But you are not even practicing it. Preach. Huh? But why you preach it? practice it to set an example for me you are my leader so set an example do not preach for what you are not practicing it's rather you keep quiet it's rather you close it don't speak for what you're not doing do only what you're speaking of please i beg you in the name of god people of god let's stop fearing men let's fear god i am not I'm not preaching for anybody, God. <laughs> Please, oh, don't come to me and tell me, oh, Zaina, she thinks she's perfect. No. People say, oh, Zaina has not changed yet. She's lying. She's still sleeping around. Okay. So what? Uh-huh. So what? Oh, Zaina never changed. She's pretending. So what? Oh, Zaina, she's doing this. She's always dressing like this. So what? What did God say to Zaina? That's what matters. What did God say to Zaina? Me, is my God that told me to speak to that one person. Yes, you. That person that is ready to listen to this word. That person that is ready to change. That person that is ready to work with it like I'm working with it right now. I am working on it too. I'm learning. So, let's learn together. Let's learn together. It's never too late. So if you feel like this message is for you, pray for it. But if you don't feel like message is for you, don't worry. Share it. It's for that one person that God is trying to speak to. Me, it is not about me. This page is not about me. I always been an influencer. I was in a beauty influencing. Can you tell? Anyway, I was in a beauty influencing. And God says, Zaina, I am going to change your life around. 
I'm going to turn your life around and I'm gonna make you an influencer to young women and young men. I'm gonna make you an influencer to somebody. And that's what I've begun to do. I begin to do what God has told me to do. So if you are right there and you know that God is calling you, God is trying to talk to you, listen to him. Let him turn you around, hallelujah. Let him change your life around. Isaiah 51, 7 says, you people who know what the right what is right should listen to me this is isaiah 51 7 says you people who know what is right should listen to me you people who follow my teaching should hear what i say don't be afraid of the evil things people are saying and don't be upset by the insults hallelujah this is isaiah 51 7. it says you people that are oh hallelujah you people that know what's right you should be able to listen to me you people that follow my teaching i am not the one speaking this is isaiah 51 7. Remember, I say I'm just a vessel. I am nobody who is trying to tell somebody that there is someone that can set you free. There is someone that can save your family. There is someone that can save your life. And that someone is Jesus Christ. And that someone is the King of Kings. And that someone is the one that will bring a supernatural victory in your life. And that someone is Emmanuel. And that someone is Alpha and Omega. And that someone is speaking to you right now in Isaiah 51 7. It says, You people that know what is right, you people that follow my teaching, you should be able to listen. You should be ready to listen and do not be upset do not be upset of the insult of what people are insulting you do not let your life be according to what people are saying do not live your life by what people are saying do not live your life by what people are doing do not live your life do not oh my god do not look for a validation to a human being i destroy every spirit of slavery in your life in the mighty name of jesus I destroy every spirit of slavery in your life right now. I'm breaking it in the mighty name of Jesus. I am breaking it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know what's funny? Before I just start talking to you guys, I started yesterday. The devil has been trying to speak to me. Hallelujah. The devil has been trying to speak to me. The devil has been trying to make me scared. It's been bringing fear in my life. It's been sending people talking about me, people destroying me, people want to destroy me. I say, oh God, oh God, I see it, I see it. I see the devil trying to interrupt me. I see the devil trying to destroy me. I see you, devil, I see you, but I'm speaking. But the power was given to my tongue that I can speak life and death. Now I'm speaking the death of the demonic. They're dying right now. The devil, you are dying right now. It is over for you right now. You will, you will not speak. You will not whisper in my ears. And you will not tell me anything to destroy me. No way. Mm -mm. You will not in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says in Isaiah... And Isaiah 51 7, he says that I should not be upset of the what of the insult. I will not be upset of the insult because I know what is right. Knowledge is light, knowledge is power, and I know what is light. I know who is my father. I know who is my king of king. I know who I follow. I know who is in me. It's greater than who is in the world. So whatever you are telling me will not break my relationship will not break my relationship with my mother, will not break my relationship with PMP ministry, will not break my relationship with my surrounding, will not break my relationship with my life, will not break my business, will not break my beauty. Let me tell you one thing. If somebody call you a dog, are you going to change becoming a dog? Are you going to start barking? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you going to start barking? Are you a dog? No. So if they call you a dog, why are you crying? He says, I'm a dog. 
Oh God, it surprises me. Somebody say, oh, you are not beautiful enough. Okay. You are not good enough. Okay. You cannot do this. Okay. Let me drink to that. Cheers. Say, God, cheers. My father, cheers for the loving you have given me. God bless you, Elaine. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. The city that you are living in, that you are blessed. And everybody around you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Continue to seek the kingdom of God. And everything else you desire will be added to you. The Bible said that everything else will work for your own good in the mighty name of Jesus. When you keep on seeking for the kingdom of God. When you keep on seeking for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I don't want things to stay on my lips. When you keep on seeking for the kingdom of God. When you let God in in your life. Nothing else will destroy you. In Romans 8, 31 says that. When we speak about all these little things in the, in the world. If God is with us. What else can we fail? I love this. You know why I keep on repeating the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, to the same thing? It's because I want you and me to sing. To sing this word in our eyes, in our ears. You know what? I am learning too. I am learning. I am learning too. Let me tell you one thing. I am a beginner too. I have started. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new year. You guys don't understand. Every time we sleep, we wake up. It's a new day, new you, new everything. Start over. Say, Lord, what can I do to start over? What can I do to do better? That's what you need to be thinking. God, I'm ready. Help me not to miss what you're telling me, oh God. Help me not to miss for what you want me to do. I want to follow your direction, oh God. I want to continue to follow you, oh God. I want to continue to make sure that I do not fear men. I want to fear you only, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. First Peter 3.12, it says, But even if you suffer for doing the right thing, you are blessed. It says, First Peter 3.12, it says, But even if you suffer for doing the right thing, you are blessed. This is God though, that's not even me. The Bible says even if you suffer, doing the right thing, you are blessed. That's 1 Peter 2, 3, 12. I know one of my, uh, my mother in the church. I don't know about anything else. But what I know is that she's always saying the truth. She always seeking the truth. No matter what it is. And it's so funny because I'm like that too. Me, I was seeking the right. I don't care. If you hate me, I don't care. If you love me. I mean, you know why? Only people that look for love is the people that want validation from somebody. I don't care. I don't want to please you. I want to please God. So if God thinks I'm good, if God is pleased, then me, I don't have a problem. Say the truth to shame the devil. Say the truth will set you free. Live like a free person. Stop being a slave to human being. Stop being a slave to things. Why lie? Why lie? Something that will never take you nowhere. You will never go nowhere. Why are you still lying? So the pit, first Peter says, first Peter 3 12 says, even if you suffer by doing the by saying, by doing the right thing, you are blessed. That's why you see so many people that, that don't lie. The people that are honest, they are always blessed. Even there was a big problem that was trying to destroy them. God will make sure we save them. That's why you see that people who are honest, they are always blessed. Be honest to everything you do. Sometimes, your boss may find you working. But while you are working, because you are always honest, you don't have to fake it. So whenever the boss comes and tries to catch you, they will find you doing your good job. So it does not matter. So that's what First Peter is saying here. Even if you suffer by doing right, you are blessed. Don't be afraid of what they fear. You don't be afraid of what they fear. Do not be afraid of what people fear. Do not be afraid of what people think of you. He says, do not fear their traits. People like to threaten you. They threaten you. Oh, that man will leave you. 
That woman will leave you. That job, you lose it. You will never be better. You will be a loser. If you don't listen to me, that's your problem. You will be gone. Okay. I am leaving then. <laughs> eh? I am leaving. It's not me that I spoke. This is the Bible. It's saying that. First Peter 3. First Peter 3, 12, it says, Do not be afraid. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. Why are you always scared of everything? Please, say, pray, repeat after me. Repeat after me. I'm choosing to do what's right. Every time, in the middle of the problems, I choose to do right. In the middle of gossip, I choose to speak the truth. In the middle of entry, I choose to love. In the middle of confusion, I choose God. In the middle of weak, I choose strength. In the middle of weakness, I choose strength. In the middle of gossiping, I choose to say the truth. In the middle of gossiping, I choose to cut it off. In the middle of entry, I choose to love. In the middle of trouble, I choose God. In the middle of being a slave, I choose to be free. Because some people choose to be slaves. Choose to be free in the name of Jesus. Every demonic assignment. Let me tell you one thing. You know why I pray for this every day? Because the devil does not sleep. The devil goes to assign so many things every day in your life to destroy you. The devil does not sleep. The devil is ready to destroy you anytime. So if I were you, I will repeat the same prayer and pray for it every day. Say, God, blind all my enemies so that they don't see my, my, uh, my progress. They don't see my plan. In the mighty name of Jesus, blind the enemies. Blind the enemies. All my projects, all my businesses, everything that I want to do. Father, my father, blind my enemies. In the name of Jesus, blind, blind my friend enemies. Blind my fake followers. Blind my fake friends. Blind my fake helpers. Blind them in the name of Jesus. They will not see me. They will not see my work. Blind them just like the way you blind Moses' brothers. They were not able to see his destiny. Blind them in the name of Jesus. Blind them in the name of Jesus. Blind them in the name of Jesus. Every oh my God. Enemy in progress. Your friends can be your enemy in progress. Your friends can be your enemy in progress. They don't want to see you go further. They don't want to see you be happy. They don't want to see you be happy. They don't want to see joy in your face. They don't want to see you laugh. Blind them in the name of Jesus. May the fire of God, may the altar in your body, the altar that God is keeping sending the fire in you, may the fire keep burning in you. And every time they come to you, the time they look at you, the time they touch you, may they be healed in the name of Jesus. You know why I say that? Your friend enemy, your friend follower, the fake ones, the friend, friend, fake helpers, fake followers, fake lovers, when they come to touch you, the moment they think they are destroying you, whatever they are bringing to eat, whatever they are bringing to live, they may think they're destroying you. May they be burned. May they be cast fire. May they be destroyed. May they, oh my God, help me. May every friend enemy be destroyed and die right now. All the inheritance, all the demonic attack, all the situation that's been trying to destroy you, that's been trying to destroy your life, that's been trying to destroy your family, that's been trying to destroy everything you've been doing in your life. Destroy them right now. Right now, say, catch fire in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for a prayer that me and my mother we used to pray for a long time ago when I was uh, seven years old. In, um, so let's pray that prayer I think that prayer is very good we used to fast me and my mom and my, my whole family would fast and we'd be in the closet we close us we close ourselves there for, for hours for, from 6 to 6 and we'd be fasting and we'd pray and my mom used to pray a few things she said God have favor have favor oh God let your favor be upon us 
And then after that, she will say, let your Holy Spirit to come and take over, to cover every situation, everything of our life. And then the third one, she will say, I walk in the camp of the demonic. You know, the satanic, the evil people, the witchcraft has a camp. They have a camp where they go, they bring the reports. Don't go to a witchcraft house. That's not where your things are. When they finish stealing and exchanging your life, they go to their camp where their master is and they give a report. Now, by the power that God has given you, let me tell you, to have a voice, to have the mouth, is more powerful than you think. All you need to say is in the name of Jesus. And everything that you want, you take it back. Right now, I can see the fire. Even before I've started already, I can see the fire falling. Oh, God. Those lightning thunder fire. That of Moses that, came, that prayed in the camp. Those lightning thunder of Moses. Hallelujah. Those was like rain. It's coming down with fire. Burning every demonic camp. That was exchanging your life. Exchanging your children, exchanging your joy, exchanging your, your business. Exchange, oh my God. Let me tell you, your friend enemies, they can come and exchange your joy. You never know when somebody is touching you. But today, do not worry. Take it back. Take it back. Say, I'm taking back everything. I am walking in right now into the camp of the demonic where the, the, the witchcraft. They like to report what they have done and what they have success, succeeded, but they are not going to be. I am taking back my brain right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm taking back my generation, my children, and my outcome of tomorrow. I'm taking back in the name of Jesus. Take it back. Take it back right now. Take it back. Holy Ghost, fire in the camp of demonic right now. In the camp of the witchcraft right now. In that demonic camp. I am taking back everything that was exchanged over your life. I am taking back everything that was exchanged over your children. I am taking back everything that was exchanged over your business. Over your joy. Over your light. Let me tell you, there's some people who are big. They, are very, they, are, they were meant to be very successful. But, hey, they can never be successful. Because the demonic people, those witchcraft, your friend enemy, your enemy in progress, have taken your life and they have exchanged it. And they're trying to destroy you, to humiliate you. No way. I am taking it in your behalf. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, speak on their behalf. Holy Spirit, speak on their behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're taking it back in the name of Jesus. We're taking it back in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you one thing. You are surprised my voice is gone, but I'm praying with authority like this. It's because the other day I said, God, I am taking my voice back in the demonic of the kingdom of Satanic that is trying to destroy me, that is trying to hold my voice down so that I don't have to praise you, so that I don't have to destroy him more. I am taking my voice back. I am taking my children back. I am taking your children back. I am taking your generation back. I am taking it in the name of Jesus. You will not die for what your father has done. You will not die for what your father and your fathers and fathers. Your inheritance will not collapse. Will not be destroying you. Will not, no way. You will not die for what somebody else has died for. You will not die for what somebody else has done. I was watching a movie the other day. There's this boy who was given a ring from his from his forefathers, from his generation to go or go or go. They gave him a ring. And everybody was dying at the age of 25. He never understood. So he knew that he would die by 25 years old. So he made sure that he have, he have a baby before 25 years old. But I, and, but he found out that he was a cause that what his father generation, oh my God, his, oh my God. The cause that was caused long time ago, he was still holding that ring. He needed to give up that ring. I don't know what you need to give up right now. I don't know what you need to give up right now. But start saying no. Start saying no to the devil that is trying to destroy you. Say no to everything that is trying to make you a slave to a human being. You are, oh my God, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are loved in the name of Jesus. And you have a supernatural victory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Like I said, this message 
is for one person, that one person that needs it. Like me, I needed it. I'm still working on it. I'm still growing just like you are growing. I'm still getting there. I am not perfect. I am just a nobody who is trying to tell somebody that there's a king of kings that will bless you. There's somebody that can save you. Now, if you want to be saved and you want to restore your life or you just want to be connected to God, repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for today and I thank you, Father, for dying on the cross for our sins. From now on, we accept, we accept, we accept you as our Father and Lord and Savior. God, may you help us to continue to stay in your will. Father, Lord, may you protect us from evil and sins that is trying to destroy us. In the mighty name of Jesus, do not forget to share and share and share. Do not forget to share. And let other person be saved. Somebody out there, somebody somewhere there, he does not know how to stay away from fearing men and fearing God only. He does not know the difference. Somebody out there is looking for you to help them. So be a soul winner. Be a soul destroyer. Don't be a soul destroyer. Be a soul winner. Win somebody's soul. Bless somebody. Let that person connect. Let that person be able to be healed through this video. Share and share. Thank you for really watching Preach and Praise Ministry. I'm